Hello there everybody. Welcome for another video on numericals on transfer pricing. Today we are going to see one type of numerical of transfer pricing. There are various methods of solving transfer pricing numericals and there are various type of questions that come to your exam. Today we are going to see just one type of it. In our further videos, I would be sharing the other types of numericals as well. Please follow them. Let's go to this problem. The question is, a company has two divisions, A and C. C usually purchases from the division A. So these A and C are the two divisions of the same company. Okay, A supplies material to division C. But A has increased the price of a component to rupees 150 per unit. However, C is getting the same component at 135 rupees per unit from outside market suppliers. So instead of purchasing it from A, C can as well purchase it from the market directly and that too at 135 rupees. Whereas A is offering the same component at 150 rupees. Division A is not ready to reduce its prices as it has to maintain its return on investment. A is not ready to give it 135 what is available in the market because it has to maintain its return on investment. Okay. If we look at the details of A, what we can see is A's variable cost per unit itself is 120 and A's fixed cost per unit is 20 rupees. So if you look at the total cost of A, it comes to 140 rupees. So it's not possible for A to sell at 135 rupees. That is what we can make out from this. Now, C's annual consumption of the components is 1000 units. Every year C is consuming 1000 units of that component. That means the purchase order will be of 1000 units. Now let's see what are the questions asked on the given data. There are three scenarios that we can see over here. First, will the company as a whole benefit if division C purchases the component at 135 rupees from outside instead of purchasing it from A, if it purchases from outside will the company as a whole benefit from it? Second question is, second scenario that is, if A did not produce component for C and uses the facilities for some other activity leading to a cash saving of 18,000 rupees, then should the division C purchase from outside? What does this mean is that A is not producing the same component which is required by C. So there is no variable cost involved that we should look at first. And secondly, because it is using its facilities, A is using its facilities for some other purpose, which is generating a cash saving of 18,000 rupees. So now should C go and purchase it from outside? This was the second question, second scenario. And third, suppose there is no alternative use of A's facilities and the market price of the component drops by 20%. So should C now buy from outside suppliers? Now what they have said is this 18,000 which was expected to come from the second scenario. Now they say that that option is also not available. Okay, so there is no alternative use of A. However, C is now getting a product at 20% lesser price. That means instead of 135, C is getting it at 115 rupees per unit. So now will it be profitable for the whole organization to purchase it from outside? So these are the three scenarios and three questions based on the above given data. Now let's move towards the solution. Okay, solution of part one. What we can see is, will the company as a whole benefit if division C bought the components at 135 rupees from outside suppliers? So will it be benefited, beneficial for the organization as a whole if C purchases the product from outside? Now, if we look at the calculations, the cost of purchase for division C would be 1000 units into 135 rupees per unit. The price per unit is 135 available in market multiplied by the total requirement of 1000 units. So the total cost of purchase will be 1,35,000. 
the total cost would be 135000 if c purchases it from the market at the same time because c is not purchasing it from a so a doesn't have to produce the same component that means the variable cost of a would now be saved the savings of variable cost for division a that is 1000 units multiplied by 120 rupees why 120 rupees because in the question itself we have seen that the cost the variable cost per unit for a was 120 rupees so that variable cost would be saved so the total savings due to variable cost reduction would be 120000 rupees so from if we look at it from the whole company's perspective what we see is the additional cost of purchase by c would be 135000 the cost of purchase less savings of variable cost by a because they are not producing it so 120000 rupees is the savings because of the variable cost that they have saved because of not producing it if we look at the difference still there is an extra cost of 15000 rupees 135000 minus 120000 gives you 15000 rupees that means the company has to bear an additional cost of 15000 rupees so since the company has to bear an additional cost of 15000 rupees so the company as a whole will not benefit with division c purchasing from outside suppliers this is the conclusion of the first part of this question is that because there is an additional cost of 15000 rupees so the company will not be benefited if c purchases the components from outside suppliers now let's look at scenario 2 should c purchase from outside supplier if a does not produce for c and generates an additional cash saving of 18000 rupees the facilities of a are now used for doing some other activity that is generating a savings of 18000 rupees so again the same scenario comes in picture if c purchases it from outside 1000 units multiplied by the market price of 135 rupees per unit the total cost of purchase for C would be 1,35,000 less the variable cost that is savings of A because A is not producing it for C the variable cost is saved that is 1,000 units into 120 rupees per unit that's a saving okay and additionally what we do is the additional cash savings generated by A is 18,000 that also has to be deducted from the total of 135000 so what we see here is the savings are more by 3000 than the cost of purchase so overall if we see there is a benefit of 3000 rupees to the whole company if c purchases it from outside and a's facilities are used from some other activity generating additional 18000 rupees cash so for this scenario the conclusion is yes the company will be benefited if c purchases from outside suppliers and a's facilities are used for other activities to generate additional cash savings of 18000 rupees dear all always remember whenever you are solving such problems it is expected that you give your own conclusion okay like you have written over here your decision is important such questions are asked to judge your decision making these are all decision making questions so whenever you are solving such questions only calculating the benefit or cost is not sufficient but you also have to give your conclusion for that respective case for that respective scenario now let's move to the third part of the question that is if market price reduces by 20 rupees and there is no alternative use of A's uh, facilities. So should C purchase from outside? Okay, what is the question? If the market price is reduced by 20 rupees, which means now the purchasing price per unit for C would not be 135 rupees, but 135 minus 20 would be 115 rupees only. C is getting the component at only 115 rupees, 115 rupees. However, there is no additional saving generated by A. So now will it be beneficial for the company? Let's see. The cost of purchase by C is now 1000 into 115 into 115. 
So that comes to 1,15,000. It comes to 1,15,000. Now the cost of purchase is only 1,15,000 and the variable cost savings by A is 1,000 units multiplied by 120 rupees. So that is 1,20,000. So if you see the savings are more than the cost of purchase. The savings are more than the cost of purchase and that is why your net savings come to 5000 rupees the net savings are only are in fact positive 5000 rupees so if there is a saving generated generated for the organization so the conclusion would be yes the company will be will be benefited if the market price reduces by 20 rupees per unit okay so for the third scenario it is recommended that division c should purchase the component from outside market instead of purchasing it from division a okay dear all i hope you all have got it if you have any doubts any confusion you can go back see this video again and again try and practice it on your own see only if you practice it only then it would be very clear to you okay and you would be do it in your exams okay so it is recommended highly recommended you at least go through this video twice or thrice understand it properly and then solve it on your own without seeing the video okay after this i would be posting some other types of numericals based on transfer pricing okay so stay tuned for that and keep watching thank you everyone